Hey guys, what is up? I'm back here with another Clash of Lords 2 video and in today's video what I'm going to be talking to you guys about is hero talents. Now basically, hero talents are just kind of a way to increase your hero stacks. Now if we take a look at my great sage, I haven't used his or added any more talents right now because it is quite costly on the gems if you don't get what you're looking for. So let's say I want to refresh one of my talents, which I'm not going to reset this one because it is four out of eight already. But if you reset it, you can also, if you have talent beads, you don't have to spend the jewels to reset each one. So that's always good if you have those. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to show you by activating a new talent, which will cost you 300 gems. If we do that, it's going to open up and it's automatically going to pick a random talent for you first off the bat so cast in iron basically what cast in iron does it increases my hero's HP now great sage is more of an attack hero so what I would like to do is get an attack hero with uh, damage boosting talents like the will to fight um, the blessing weapons and there's quite a few others but I would like to say that blessing weapons is the best hero's talent but there's no easy way to get these talents they're just random so let's go ahead and we'll just try it because i have a few tally refreshment beads but if you don't have any of those it would cost you 200 gems but if you see here you click reset it's going to use one of my beads to refresh all eight of the talents so eight of talents you can see there's eight talents in this circle and of course again the same one again so I refreshed it and the current talent is still that so if we were to light one up which is gonna cost us 200 gems which is a lot this is why talents can get very costly so if we light this one up we get blessing downwind which is a very good one to get because it increases our hero attack rate by 1% so if we want to use that one, we just click on use and if you activate this new talent, will to fight will disappear and you will not be able to get it back unless you randomly able to um, get it again. So we're going to take that over will to fight anyway. So we take that and the way to, uh, if you want to get, you see how it says one out of five, if you want to get five out of five, you're going to have to keep resetting it until you get that talent again and then you got to keep clicking use. So if you were to land on a different talent and click use, it's going to reset your old talent. So you don't want to do that unless you're sure of it. So basically right now we have three talents unlocked and this is all for my attack hero, Great Sage. And you want to do this for like all attack heroes. You want to give them attack uh, talents. So you're going to, let's say we go to Toxic Shaman. And I haven't unlocked any of his talents because it is quite costly, like I said. But I will do one just to show you guys again. You see, you activate his new talent, it gives me hard body. And what hard body does is increases the hero HP. Now, it did give me two out of eight, which is just lucky for us. But hard body is more for a defensive hero like Landslide or Chiron. Chiron can go both ways when whether defensive or attack, but he is very good on defense as well. All right, so if we go ahead and we click on a support hero of mine, let's say we look at Enchantress. She is a healer, so she's a support hero. And we want to give her a talent, which I'm not going to spend more jewels, but let's say we want to give her a talent. And we got, let's say, a talent that increases the damage of a hero like blessed weapons we would not want that on enchantress because she is a support hero so we would want to give enchantress a talent like increasing hp or max number of mercenaries or something like that because she is since she is a support hero we don't want to give her more damage we want to give her something that supports the rest of the team so if we were to move on to in like bullhead over here which I haven't unlocked any of his talents either. But if we look at Bullhead, he is he can he's pretty in the middle between because he can take a lot of damage, 
but he can also put out a lot of damage because if we look at his stacks here he has 236k HP and 13,000 attack which is really good so see he can go both ways so if we give him a talent like HP damage and like more damage or more HP or even crit resistance and stuff like that that would all go well together with a hero like this of this tier now basically putting this all together I'm gonna put all the um, talents in the description of what they do and you can take a look at that to help you guys when picking your talents for your heroes but basically support heroes like Renovine and Enchantress you can give them HP which is gonna be the best or mercenaries because we don't want to give them attack like I said because they're not attack heroes so for Bullhead and let's say Chiron where they can go both ways and these are not the only heroes but there's a lot more but I'm just saying for an example like Bullhead and Chiron heroes like them you can give them a mix of like HP damage stuff like that and that will all help them out and also for really mainly attacking heroes like Great Sage and Toxic Shaman give them strictly attack I mean you don't have to give them all attack but I'm just saying if you give them like one attack a dodge rate and like a hit rate or attack speed that's going to help your heroes a lot more with their stats and their performance but basically that's pretty much it but as always guys if you guys made it to the end I'd like to thank you all for watching and I do hope that this video helped you guys out if you do have any questions please comment down below and as always guys thanks for watching and peace out